There was a time when tolerance and harmony prevailed among all major religions in Sri Lanka. Buddhism being the faith of the majority, the other main religions among the minorities are Hinduism, Islam and Christianity. Since 2012, there was an increasing number of incidents of discrimination against minority religions where intimidation and violence were used by extremist groups. This emerging trend posed the threat of escalating into another conflict in Sri Lanka. Taking the recommendations of the LLRC into consideration, Caritas Sri Lanka identified the problems and solutions to diffuse religious tension. The proposal of Caritas Sri Lanka received immediate support of Caritas Norway with back donor funding from NORAD and a pilot project titled Creating a Conducive Environment for Religious Amity was started in 2014. As the chairman of the National Episcopal Commission for ecumenism and interreligious dialogue, I wish to say uh, we in Sri Lanka are working very hard uh, for religious amity. For example, here uh, it is a very challenging situation where we need to live with diligence and with dialogue with people of the other religious communities. So principally we have here the Hindus and Muslims. There are also some Buddhist temples. So in this context we have with the help of the branch of the Karitas in MENA uh, programs in order for us to be in dialogue and create a unity 
among our people. One of the main outputs of this program was the study on religious tension done by a research team of experts from the University of Colombo and the University of Kalania. Separate dialogue sessions held with Muslim religious leaders, Hindu religious leaders and Buddhist religious leaders that helped the emergence of new ideas and activities to bring religious harmony and respect the rights of minority religions. 53 inter-religious forums have been formed at village level with a membership of approximately 1,400 members. Regular meetings have been held by them. Caritas National Center produced a guidebook titled Respecting Human Dignity, Expressions from Religious Teachings both in Sinhala and Tamil languages as a new approach to bringing understanding and respect for different religions and cultures. 650 school teachers and Sunday school teachers in different dioceses have been trained to inculcate this message in the minds of the students at an early age. Approximately 13,000 students have been reached. With strong support of Caritas Norway and NORAD, an agreement was signed to extend this program for another three years until December 2017. Directors, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored to be a part of this very important religious symposium. Um, it's quite obvious that we have come a long way in this program during the four years. We have the possibility to also extend the program for three more years. One of the most effective outputs of the program was the exposure visits arranged for the religious leaders and members of the inter-religious forums to visit places of worship of all religions. They learned and understood how and why the different religious rituals and practices were done. The religious leaders were happy to be a part of these events. The language classes arranged for both students and elders helped them to communicate with members of other ethnic and religious communities. The common celebration of religious festivals, joined by people of all religions, made a great impact on the participants and other observers. Female community members in many dioceses have taken much interest in participating and sharing different religious and cultural practices. The youth and children took part in the art, drama, dance 
and speech competitions, illustrating their opinion of interreligious harmony. Sabapati kasi then dekat itu kerana apa? Api lama sama aja yang dia setuju nama le, kawan seram dia, tau pansa lor dia aku. Since the present Sri Lanka government has taken the initiative to promote messages of peace and understanding among all communities, fruitful collaborations were made with local government officials and also at the ministerial level. आगमिक सहजीवने ऐतिहासिक महिला, विशांगविदाने मगिंग, समाजिकत पुज्जल जनजीविते, ओनों पिलिबंदो आवृत्तियों जुकतो क्रिया केरी में टे लोगों के साक्षर करने दिखनो, एवं हिसे प्रतिपले वशिंग आगमिक नायकिंग की वैदेशातहन, ओनों पिलिबंदो हाथुना गनी में टे Onun ke agam pelibatan doa yang mau bodi ya ketikar agni mete, etuling agami ke awa bodi etuling agami ke sahaji bene etikar lagi masa dah, mahitan ni mewasar kipi ak tule, me sangwida ni magi khati itu keran te duna. Nan bal chandren, nyan chandren, kru kalau gel, mukiye nokmah inanggal kiri, ana madanggal kiri, ana Aiki ya tetapi, nanggal mumbai itu, inde ahli ya, itu galai im, sabaya im, ya ki kondi rendah. Warna kam, nan, kanan budi pulai, teruk kumaran, adi ber, mubah tap pulai makhabit dia liam, karitas, kiudek, narwena tinudia, the sarwa madam. Orang hotel perhatian hegal, ala vali wat, nada vali kegal bande. Indre mana bermati le, pergi ada orang macam tu yang pergi turun dade. Mula ke mana ada tu, sarwa mana sih betul mana tu, pergi guna dekat betul mana kan dade. Beri paha, ala orang orang dalam, dar kaha, thang dia, arpan apa cerita mana dade. Kalau el keretas cute ekor mana tu, anda sarwa mana sih betul dade. Tanggulnya mudah mana panggilan penting mudah mahu datuk balik beri rakan. Saru mada peribinaram orang ini kapatte, ader mula mahu orang kulu dua kapatte. Anja orang ber mete ber dia mada tekuk itu dana orang beli peral orang dia berlak. Samau mata tu leh mete orang leh madikin orang orang tanmi orang dia berlak. Mata kudi ala ke. Anja sehat itu dana mudah kapatte beri kan dana. Adik beriil. Ina sehat itu mana tu? Arah sangat orang dia orang amecur udah ham mudah dapat kana. வாய்ப்பகல்ம் Jadi ni warga tuna ko hatarak kini. Ini Maya kita ni gatalu, ini agak tera. Wenas adah suam aru nisa, samar awasta awalnya gatalu ni tuh ena awasta tuh ena. Maya kita ayat ni makin, egol lo, ente egol lang adah sulat. Agam mula tuh ena, saya mah agam kau mati ena, egol lang agam mula tuh ena, adehi, nanti egol lang kriya karakam. 
The climax of the religious amity program with the three regional religious symposia held in 2017 in Jaffna, Batiklo, and Kilinochi. The participation of Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim and Catholic religious leaders along with other members of the inter-religious forums from different parts of the island made a great impact on the participants who wanted to continue to promote inter-religious harmony in their respective villages and communities. The encouragement, motivation and guidance received as a result of visits from donor representatives to the project locations and participating in some of the inter-religious activities was another important feature of this program. This program has attracted the interest of individuals and organizations in other countries wanting to learn from Caritas Sri Lanka's experience and many people visited Caritas National Center and also some of the project locations. Among them were the representatives from Caritas Japan, Carford England, Caritas Australia, the National Director of Caritas Sri Lanka, Reverend Father Mahindra Gunatilaka, has the following to say. I'm well aware as to what took place recently in our country, in Sri Lanka. The ethnic tensions, the conflicts we had, the right situation we had was a very pathetic, unforeseen situation. Now these things tell, will tell us in Sri Lanka what tensions are going with various ethnic groups. Now all these four major ethnic groups for a long time have lived in harmony but owing to some differences ever after the independence we have had a lot of tensions and one of the results of these tensions was the 30 year long conflict in war and now this unfortunate situation tells us that our tensions between the Muslim groups is not going to help Sri Lanka. Keeping all these things in the background, we the Caritas Centre have taken initiative to shed away all differences and to bring all ethnic communities to a one platform, to live in peace and harmony in this land in this sacred soil and for this purpose we have for the last few years this religious amity program which was funded by Caritas Norway, funded by NORAD a back donor and I would very gratefully remember Mr. Aaron Hafen who intervened to organize this program. Then I would also remember Reverend Father George and Father Valivita, who were my predecessors who have helped to sustain these programs. I want to remember all the directors working in various DCs. I want to remember all my national uh, staff members. They have tirelessly worked to see that we achieve uh, at the objectives of this program. Thank you.